this is Art with Miss Carr and Brinley here and we are going to show you how to make a jellyfish with tissue paper. I'm and still making mine. Yeah, hers is in progress and this is just a day one. This is what we'll get done today. And then on the day two, we'll cut it out. We'll add hole punches to the bottom and we're going to add ribbon streamers for the tentacles of the jellyfish. So today's day one. Yeah. So we're going to start with Piece of paper, pencil, sharpie. So, okay. And glue it, just plain old white glue with some water in it. That we'll get to in just a minute. All right, so the first step is to draw out your jellyfish body. So you can either do it uh -huh. wide or you can do a tall one. So I'm going to draw a tall one. This is a white one. I'm going to draw a tall one so you can see both. And also, um, you just start with like a half circle. Yep. And then it's really easy. Half circle, wavy bottom. Just like that. Kind of like a ghost. All right. So now I'll outline that with Sharpie. We're going to use a thick Sharpie for outlining that. Brindley, you want to tell them what's next after we outline with Sharpie? Um, some, some of the, some glue with some water in it. And what do you do with it? Um, you just paint with it all, all over the place. All over this paper, I'm going to paint with it. All but right. sometimes you can dump, you can dump it up just a little bit on it. Okay, let's try that. So, for that part, you just put a little puddle in the middle. Kind of like that. Kind of like as much as ketchup as you would get for your fries. And then you just spread it with your brush all over the surface of that jellyfish body. And if you go off the body, it's okay, because we're going to cut those out anyway, so no biggie. And um, if you make another one, then if you have any extras, then you can just stick it to it. Soak some of the glue off with a paper towel or an extra paper if you need to, sure. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Now I'm going to start placing my tissue squares on because I've got it coated with my gluey water now. All these? Yep. So we've got a plate full of different color squares cut. It's okay if they overlap some. It's okay if they go out of your jellyfish um, body. We're going to paint over, well not really paint, but like glue over again. And um, also try to spread out the colors so you don't have too many oranges or blues right next to each other. Mm, this looks good. Oh, that's really good. I think you're ready for, um, you're ready to paint over that. All right. And you don't want to just dump them on. You want to place them so they just, they look neat. Yes. And, you know, strategically overlap some colors, like Brinley was saying. What colors were you saying you should overlap, Bryn? Um, green, green and yellow and blue and red and blue and ye yellow. Because they make what colors? Um, the blue and ye yellow make green, and the blue and red make purple. Nice. I like that. And I also like to, um, overlap red, orange, and yellow, and yellow. For a little color mixing, red, orange action. All right. So... We're going to go ahead and skip to Brinley's and show you the next step. All right, Brinley, you want to show them what's next? So then all you have to do is get another paintbrush and paint over it. Okay, so you're just coating over it with the same mixture, the same mixture of gluey water. Yes. Okay, and once you get that done... It should look something like this, and it's ready to sit and dry, and you're, you're done with day one. And then we'll be back for day two tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye.